I believe that Jesus was the perfect embodiment of truth and love because a theology of love without the truth isn't actually loving. And a theology of truth without the love isn't actually truthful. When Jesus loved people, he loved them into the truth. The way I always start out my story is the way lots of people start out their stories, and that's to say that from the time they were a little kid, they knew they were different. I can remember what it felt like to sit in that office and to be so afraid and to feel so hot and, and, and trembly and to not even be able to look at my father or mother in the face, but to have to tell them this thing that I was experiencing. I said, look, this is something I'm battling. I don't know what to do with it. And I was escorted out of the church and um, invited to never come back. And I didn't for 18 years. I didn't set foot in a church. I see this as such a common response from evangelical parents of gay kids. It's as if they're looking at their gay kid and they say, in fact, sometimes they do and say, you have destroyed my dream for you. We have this way of, of really making this about us and about our pain. When in reality, as the parents of gay kids, it's impossible for us to even begin to understand the pain that they're dealing with. If you're really looking to reach into the LGBT community, the first thing to do is not look at it as the LGBT community, just look at it as people who, who need Christ. Debates about sexuality and gender are not just about issues, they are about people, beautiful people. These debates, they're about my friends.